Singapore is funding four new projects that could divert almost half or up to 100,000 tons of non-incinerable waste from Sumakau landfill each year. Now, that's if the projects are successful and also implemented. The National Environment Agency has awarded the grants under a $45 million R&D program that's called Closing the Waste Loop. The National University of Singapore is leading one of those projects. In this lab setup, heavy metals are extracted from sludge using chemicals. The treated metals then go through an electroplating process that can generate renewable energy like hydrogen. And the clean sludge can go to produce construction materials. The team will work with industry players for larger scale tests. We need to automate the process. So we actually have all this uh, built into a you know, circulating system. So that is more ready for you know, uh, the industry to use so that they can achieve um, not just a you know, cost effective solution, but also a labor saving solution. Speaking at the Clean Enviro Summit Singapore Catalyst event, Senior Minister of State for Sustainability and the Environment, Amy Kaur, outlined the importance of developing capability to tackle climate change. Even as we work to become COVID-19 resilient and prepare for the next pandemic, we must double down on efforts to become climate resilient, build capacity in our environmental sustainability ecosystem, and galvanize action to promote sustainable development.